I wanted a USB to UART interface that would allow access to all of the available signals, including the flow control and indicator inputs. And looking at available modules, I can find them for a few dollars, providing all of those UART signals. But since I can also buy all of the individual parts relatively cheaply, including a PCB, if I have enough to make 10 boards, I can also make it for relatively cheap and design it the way I want. So PCBWay sponsored this project, and now I have a UART USB interface with the features I desire. In addition to transmit and receive, one common use for extra signals like DTR and RTS would be for a programming interface on various modules where these signals can be used by the host programmer to configure the target device into programming mode and to reset the device as needed. But I wanted to make sure I had access to all of these pins so I can do a whole lot of things, including if I'm going to actually interface with an RS-232 serial port. One thing I wanted to be able to do in my circuit is make sure I can power my target device either from 5 volts over USB or 3.3 volts with an onboard regulator so I can supply a lot of current within spec of the USB bus without having limitations on how much current I can provide if I'm using any USB chip built in 3.3 volt regulators. So I have a power select jumper here. I can switch between 5 volt and 3.3 volt operation so all of these UART signals will be 5 or 3.3 volt. I've got TX and RX and power indicator LEDs for convenience. And really, all I'm doing is using a CH340C, and I wanted the C because I don't have to use an external crystal, and I'm just breaking out all these pins to headers. Any of the pins that are outputs from this module, I put a series resistor just in case some other circuit I'm plugging into is also trying to drive the output. It won't be directly able to cause a short circuit if one's trying to drive high and the other side's trying to drive low. And the first thing I do with the 5 volt USB power is I run it through a PTC resettable fuse just in case something goes wrong and too much current is being drawn from the USB bus. With the USB UART adapter plugged in, I'm running cool term, and the CH340 USB interface shows up here, so I'll choose this. And I'm going to configure this with local echo on, which means if I connect now, if I type something like test, this text is just going over USB and going to the transmit out, but there's nowhere for it to go. So all I'm seeing here is me typing it on the computer side. So now if I just connect transmit to receive on this board, I can do a loopback test. So now when I type something, it'll come out, but then come back to the receive side. So let's try that. T-E-S-T. -E now I see what I'm typing locally and what's coming back in over the USB UART, so I know the transmit and receive work. And now to test these other hardware signals, looking at this list of signals from the computer side out to the serial adapter, DTR is an output from the computer and so is RTS. So I can actually toggle those in cool term and check them on the hardware side. So I'll hook up a multimeter between ground and DTR and as shown in the CP2102 data sheet, these signals are active low and I'm showing DTR is active in cool term. So if I click this, now it's not active and it goes high. Click it again and it goes low. I can do the same with RTS. So again, it's currently active, so it's low. If I click it to turn it off, it goes high. And if I assert it again, it goes low. So those outputs are working. And I'll just turn them off here to make things more clear because now I want to check the inputs like carrier detect, DSR, CTS, and ring indicator. So looking at these indicators in cool term, one by one I'm going to assert these by bringing them low on the board and see if they light up to show they are active. This should be ring indicator and it does show that I'm activating it. DCD, that one's working. DSR, that one's working. And CTS, if I can squeeze in there, and that one's working. 
So this board is a success, so now I can use this to power boards while communicating over USB UART and accessing all of these indicators or other control signals. Thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this project. Thanks for watching.